হ্যালো এভরিওয়ান সবাই তো খুব সকালবেলা চলে আসছেন এবং একটু লম্বা সময় দাঁড়িয়ে থাকতে হয়েছে তো এখন হঠাৎ বসার পরে হয়তো আপনারা একটু ঝিমে যেতে পারেন তো আমি চাইবো আপনার আমাকে ফার্স্টে একটু ফলো করবেন হ্যাঁ আমি বলবো না আমি কি করতেছি জাস্ট সেটা আপনারা করবেন ওকে সবাই 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 কিন্তু ভুল হাত তুলছেন আমি কিন্তু লেফট হ্যান্ড তুলছি আপনারা সবাই রাইট হ্যান্ড তুলছেন সো ইউ আর নট অ্যাটেন্ড ইউ আর নট গিভিং প্রপার অ্যাটেনশন ওকে আই এম গোয়িং টু টক ইন ইংলিশ বিকজ ইটস এ ইন্টারন্যাশনাল ওয়ার্ল্ড ক্যাম্প অ্যান্ড উই অলসো হ্যাভ ইন্টারন্যাশনাল গেস্ট সো আই এম গোয়িং টু কন্ডাক্ট মাই সেশন ইন ইংলিশ ইউ অলরেডি হ্যাড সেশন অ্যাবাউট কন্ট্রিবিউটিং টু দ্য কমিউনিটি অ্যান্ড ইন দ্য টেকনিক্যাল কমিউনিটি অ্যান্ড অলসো হাউ টু স্কেল ওয়ার্ক প্লেস ইন লার্জ স্কেল my session is related to uh, uh, marketing and uh, social media automation i was the social media and pr wrangler in fact i am still now the social media and pr wrangler of what came dhaka 2019 so we had some issues uh, about automation then i actually find this idea about taking a session like this Okay, you already know my name because I have already posted a lot of posts in the group. I am Mizanur Rahman Mizan. I am professionally working with WordPress from 2012. From 2007, I am working with PHP. And from 2015, we are professionally developing theme and plugin and selling in our brand name, Theme Rally. So the plot behind the talk, I, as I have already said, uh, we was thinking how we can automate our post we had different types of solutions uh, but those were paid for mass automation but as it's a free voluntary event so we wanted to cut off the cost uh, we could pay by ourselves but we wanted to cut off the cost so we went through the free plan of different tool but then there was limitation we have used uh, we have tried to use later but later actually support instagram to open account then our WordCam Instagram account got banned, so we had to uh, uh, give, dump that tool. Then we have used Buffer. Buffer was quite good, but there was limitation about automating. We couldn't uh, post more than 10. Then uh, I have more than 30 blogs, uh, technical to lifestyle blogs. So we do automation through a different tool. We use uh, IFTTT. Uh, some of you have already heard. How many of you have already heard about IFTTT? Okay. IFTTT simply means if this, then that is a if condition. If that's true, then it actually does a thing. Uh, by IFTTT, it's called recipe. Okay. So how many of you uh, manage pages or any social account? Can you raise your hand? Okay, a lot of you. Okay, fine. So then uh, for the last phase of post, we uh, for the spe uh, sponsors, we had to automate the same post again and again, so we actually did that through IFTTT. I'm going to give you the walkthrough, how to do that, so please keep your attention, you're gonna love it. Okay, so we are going to use IFTTT for the primary automation, but we need to have social account to auto uh, post, right? Then we need a Google account and well-formatted printing materials, uh, posting materials, sorry, because you want to batch automate your post. If you want to post single post, that you don't need a full automation system, right? Okay, so you need a proper posting schedule and IFTT recipe for each media. So why Google account? We're going to use Google Calendar for this, so for that reason we need a Google account. Okay, how the system will work? Uh, we'll create event in a specific newly calendar uh, with our post, different posts. The event will trigger uh, based on the condition in the calendar. The calendar will trigger a re recipe in IFTTT, and then that will trigger a social media to post. Okay, simple. Then we're done, and we can repeat the post. We can do it for one time, and we can, or, or we can do it repetitively. Okay, let's go for a visual workflow. I'm going to give a quick visual workflow. I could have shown you uh, directly live, but uh, internet and time is limited, so I am going to give you a visual workflow. So uh, just watch and bear with me. Make sure that you are logged into your social media accounts. It's a common thing. Then this is the posting schedule. 
I'm, I have already given in my slide, so I'm going to share this with you. So I'm just quickly going through. You have to match this column name, subject, start time, start date, start time, end date, end time, all day, whether it's an all day event or not. It's, uh, no, normally for social media, it will be false. And the description is what you are posting. And the link is the location. Because we are actually using calendar. Calendar actually is event. So we have to improvise, and we have to use this field to post in the social media. So here, the subject is what will trigger the social media. You, can, you have, I think you can see hash Facebook. Then there is a uh, title name, which is for identifying the post. So hash Facebook is the key uh, value here. OK? So start time when the post will go. Uh, sorry, start date, wh which date the post will go. Start time, the start time of the posting. And date is uh, normally the same date. And end time is normally one hour later. You can give it same time, uh, no problem. So this is the pattern. Then all the events should be false for normally social media. And description is what will go as the post description. And if you are posting any link or photo, that will be in the location. OK, things to remember. Uh, you have to properly format the date and time column. If you don't format it in Google Sheet or Excel Sheet, then it won't go through the IFTT triggering. And you have to ex export that CSV once you have done. So let's go in Google Calendar. So in Google Calendar, from the other calendar and in the red mark area, we have to click on the plus sign. Then we'll create a new calendar, because a new calendar will identify your different site or different purpose. For WordCamp Dhaka, I have used WordCamp Dhaka 2019. So then name of your calendar, you can give a description and time zone when the post will trigger. Then you have to create the calendar. Then you're done. Then go to IFTTT, open an account from the sign up. I have marked, please uh, keep your attention with the red marked areas. Then you can open your account through Google or Facebook, or you can open through your email address. Then I have used this email address and a password and sign up. That's it. And you don't have to even verify. There's <laughs> you don't have to verify, but account will be created. Then from that uh, avatar, you have to click on create to create a trigger. OK, so the first trigger will be if this, the condition, then, so we're giving the condition. We're giving the Google Calendar as the condition. Then we have to connect with Google. Very easy. You have to allow. Then we're using even from uh, search starts, because I said the key value here is the hash Facebook. So we will be searching for that hash Facebook for Facebook, and we have used hash Twitter for Twitter, uh, something like that. You can even post in Reddit. You can post in Pinterest. You can post in Twitter. Uh, I have already said that. So any social media uh, could be used, and any Web 2.0 could be automated through this process. Then we have to select the calendar uh, that we just created, then the keyword or phrase that is hash Facebook, and the time when the post will go to the social media. So zero minutes means that uh, when the time arrives, you just post in that time. You can uh, prepone or postpone by giving a later time. I think, yeah, you can prepone. Uh, then our first condition is ready. Then we have to uh, say if the condition satisfies, what to do? That we will say that, OK, do post in the social media. So I am posting in Facebook page for this instance. Then you have to again connect to Facebook. You have to be logged in. Then uh, you have to select your page. Then you can post three different types of posts uh, in Facebook. Uh, messages, status without any link, uh, link post with a, a description, and image. For this post, I am using an image. I'm posting an image. So then, so these are very crucial elements. From the add ingredient, if there is anything in these fields where description, you just have to remove or delete those, then click on the add uh, ingredient. Then where? I have said where will be used for website link or photo URL. 
where the message is the description and you have to give a album name if you don't give that IFTT will use IFTTT as the default album so I have given timeline photos because uh, then it actually you, if you post more than one post it will come one by one then this is the pattern uh, and he is giving me an idea of what's going to happen if this recipe is goes on or triggered okay then uh, we're now going to import our uh, uh, posting so I am back to the Google calendar from the settings I'm importing my Google sheet and from there I'm selecting the CSV and I have to change the calendar name from uh, add to calendar then I'm importing that to uh, uh, our calendar and finally I want to repeat this post more than one time so I am editing that post and from the does not repeat I am showing custom and I'm saying that post this post on Sunday Tuesday and Thursday and don't repeat it more than three times from the after three occurrence done and it actually happened real time you have seen this in our page that was the post that I have showed here it actually works so that was my session uh, time finish okay so I'm not going to take any question right now because uh, explaining this process will take some time I'm available if you need any help uh, regarding this automation after the session here so you can come to me and talk about it and I am also going to make a visual walkthrough because 15 or 20 minutes is not enough to show visual I mean live walkthrough visually so I'm going to post a uh, video about it in my website Miss Press and uh, you can have a look there and you can reach me on my email and you can uh, follow me on Facebook or Twitter thank you